Hello, beautiful friends and book lovers. I am coming at you today with my non-spoiler review and book chat for I Found You by Lisa Jewell. If you are new to my channel, I will tell you right away that Lisa Jewell is currently my favorite author. I have read a ton of her books within 2019 and 2020, and I have just honestly enjoyed all of them. And while I did enjoy this book, it's probably my least favorite of hers, and I'm going to tell you why. But before I do that, I'm going to start just giving you a little bit of a non-spoiler review of what I found you is, um, what I would rate this book, and who I would recommend it for. So this story is about a woman named Alice who primarily we are following her point of view, um, present tense, and a man just is on the beach. He just, I don't know, she just sees him. She lives, Alice lives by the beach and she sees this man there and she goes and he's sitting there for a long time. He's cold and she's like something's off because a random man has just appeared on the beach and he's wet and he's not doing anything to help himself. He's just sitting there and he's looking confused. So lo and behold, this man who Alice and her family, she has three kids, no husband. Um, they name him Frank because he doesn't remember anything. He doesn't remember his name, his age, literally nothing, where he's from, his job, and he's just here, which is really strange. So Alice takes him in, and Alice herself, as a character, um, she she means well. She just wants to help him, and you'll find a little bit more about her if you choose to read this story. But I really liked her as a character. Um, and the story is mainly about how Alice is helping Frank, right? Because they named him that. And how did he end up in this little British town on the beach? What is his deal? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And this book goes between present and past tense. And you slowly start to find more out about Frank and how he ended up in this town. And yeah, so I was recommended this book um, from a lot of my fellow friends on my bookstagram. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram yet, it's just Heather's Book Review, just like my channel. And everyone was like, oh, you love Lisa Jewell. You love Then She Was Gone. And I'm always commenting another post like, oh, I love her books. Oh, I loved watching you and all of this stuff. And everyone was like, well, you have to read this one. So I went into this with super high hopes, but I mean, I guess it's considered a thriller, but it's just so unlike her other stories that I didn't really feel like it was a thriller for me. And I think maybe that's why I was a little bit disappointed. It is a really good story, but for me, it's just that. Like it's, a fictional story about how this man loses his memory, why he lost his memory, and how our memories can kind of shape us. That's how best I would explain this book. Um, so I would recommend it. If that sounds interesting for you, then I would recommend this. Like, why did he lose his memory? If, you, if you're interested in like memory loss and how memories can slowly start to come back and like a novel unfolds that way, this is the story for you. But if you are invested in like fast paced thrillers like me, like psychological thrillers, stuff like that, probably this would not be my first recommendation um, of Lisa Duell's books for you. I would recommend Then She Was Gone. That is still my favorite book by her. But I'm so happy that I did read this because I know it's a lot of your, um, a lot of you, this is your favorite book um, of Lisa Duell's. So I'm so happy that I did read it. Um, but yeah, it's definitely not a fan fave. Okay, so now I'm going to get into my book chat part, which contains spoilers. So if you don't want this book spoiled for you, this, this section is for those like who have read and want to chat about it. So I would love if you could like this video and subscribe before you leave, if you want more reviews on thriller books. But for now, I'm just going to give, I don't actually have that many thoughts today, like on the story as a whole. Um, something I didn't like about it was I was right from the very beginning. Um, once we found out about like Gray and Kirsty, I said to myself, and I, I always take notes on my phone when I'm reading, I was like, Frank is 100% Gray and he has washed up ashore here because I felt that like he went through all the trauma with like Kirsty and 
what was the other guy's name? What was Mark, was it? I think it was Mark. Um, and I don't think he like processed everything that happened. And I felt that like the stress of all of that, not processing it has like caused his memory loss. Um, so it ends up, Frank ends up being gray, which I think like in the story as a reader, you're supposed to just be kept guessing like if he's Mark or gray the entire time. But I didn't really like that my prediction was right because I went into this uh, reading it as a thriller and I was like, mm. like I just felt like a little deflated. But overall, I did enjoy this story. Um, I liked Alice as a character a lot and um, it was interesting to see how it unfolded. But yeah, just not my usual kind of um lisa jewel book vibe but it was it was still good it was still good i'm happy i read it but yes if you um i bought this on amazon and i'll include i'll include the link down below but let me know what you thought about this book is it your favorite by hers um did you find it to be as predictable as i did i'm really interested to see what you guys thought so leave that in the comments below you know i'm always happy to chat with you. Um, find me on Instagram if we're not already bookstagram friends because yeah, that's how I like to chat with you guys. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.